Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out the 2020-2021 Topps Finest Baseball dual case break. It's a double header. Let's play two, as Ernie Banks used to say. 16 total boxes. Uh, Rockies Diamondbacks comboed. Twins Guardians comboed up. Novet Commons ship. Uh, should be a pretty nice break. Big thanks to everybody here. Well, big thanks to the people who bought spots straight up. I appreciate that. And then we only had to do two fillers. We had, I think we had planned for like three or four, but straight up spots were flying so fast that uh, we only had to do two. So thank you very much on that. And the there's the two combos right there. So 28 spots total on both lists. Let's roll it, randomize it. Uh, five and a six, 11 times for names and teams. One, two, three. And 11th and final time. After 11, we've got Carl all the way down to Travis with the spot that he won. Got his bases covered. Bought spots straight up. Won some spots. Five and a six. 11 times for the teams. One, two, three, four. And once more, right? 11? Yep, 11th and final time again. And after 11, we got the Bluebirds down to the Buckos. So let's match you up with the team. Let's see what you get. Good luck, everybody. Once again, thank you very much for the fill. Carl, you have the Blue Jays. Brittany with the Philadelphia Phillies. Roel with the White Sox. Robert with the Orioles. Brittany, you got my Dodgers. Kevin with the A's. Lonnie with the Nats. Kevin with the Braves. Carl with the Astros and Rays. Travis with the Royals, Carl with the Red Sox and Brewers, Travis with the Cubs, Nick with the Reds, Michael with the Padres, Travis with the Giants, Steve Locke with the Yankees, Brittany with the Mariners, Ryan with the Arizona Diamondback Rockies combo with the spot that you won, Kevin with the Tigers, Steve with the Guardians Twins combo, Travis with the Angels, Carl with the Mets, Kevin with the Marlins, Ryan with the Rangers, Lonnie with the Cardinals, and Travis with the spot that you won, the Pittsburgh Pirates. Let's alphabetize these by team, and I'm gonna pause the video. When we come back, we've got a dual case break ahead of us. So we'll do 2020 first, which is the top case up there, and then we'll do 2021 second. So we'll go in chronological order. All right, we're gonna pause the video, and we'll be right back. Stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals were done here on a Tuesday night, so let's embark on our dual case adventure. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Now, this is also a uh, wax party break. So at the end, we're going to re-randomize this whole list of names. Name on top gets into our wax party promo, which, um, which is getting there, which is getting close to being full. Now, we're going to go in chronological order. We're going to do 2020 finest first. So this is 2021 right there, and we're going to set that just right over here, I think I'll still be on camera, right? Yeah, there it is, right on my sunburnt face cam. It's starting to peel a little bit, too. It's getting pretty gross, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I get for not wearing sunscreen at an outdoor event. Now, our friend Chad Da is in the chat. He says his local card shop is hosting a little signing with Jared Kalanick and Julio Rodriguez. Two future stars of the uh, of the Mariners. What should anyone have any thoughts on what what Chad should take to have them sign? A jersey, maybe that's classic baseball is classic. A bat, perhaps. Now Chad's asking, should I have them sign a football? That would really throw them. I, that would be kind of memorable, right? Everyone's gonna have a eight by ten or a or a baseball card or a baseball or a bat. What if you showed up with a football? And they'd be like, what? And you'd be like, eh, I know you guys are baseball players. But I just thought this would be funny. Maybe have, maybe have them sign a basketball chat and say, hey, maybe you guys will be the ones that will help bring basketball back to Seattle. and have them inscribe it, bring back the Sonics or something like that.
Right. This set, I remember 2020 always um, kind of make my heart skip a little bit because there is a little uh, triangle right here that's chrome, right? So at a quick glance, it almost looks like there it was bent. <laughs> like there's a bend in the card, like in the corner, but it's not. It's just freaking you out if you look at it at a weird angle. There's Seth Brown. First autograph popping early. And then we've got Jesus Lazardo rookie card to 250. So right out of the gate is an Oakland A for Kevin. Right, Chad? Yeah, bring a bas bring a basketball. Have him sign a sign a basketball. It could be kind of hilarious. All right. A gold autograph, 38 out of 50. That is Brock Burke, rookie autograph for the Rangers. It's Ryan Harold on the board with the Rangers. It's Kyle Lewis, rookie card. Could be one of the many stars on that... Uh, on that Mariners team, there's Kettle Marte. He's playing good baseball, 48 out of 50. Uh, that'll go to the Diamondbacks. That's going to go to Ryan H. So we'll have our, just in the interest of time, we're going to have our shipping team uh, sleeve and top load all of those uh, when they're sorting everything out later on. There's Bo Bichette, rookie card for the Blue Jays. Brandon, what's up? So when it says vet base on ship, do you guys ship rookie cards too from that break? Correct, of course. Yeah, it's just that base that doesn't ship. Um, so rookies, inserts, parallels, autographs. I'll, I'll show you in this, I'll show you an example here. And in case you're wondering what we do with the vet commons, we uh, we put them in, I think we put them in like four or five hundred count boxes, and we sell them to the kids in the neighborhood, and all the proceeds will go to a charity. I, think, I don't know what the charity is this this time around, but I think for a good chunk of last year, it was some uh, breast cancer awareness foundation. Before that, maybe Children's Hospital. That was just paper. That's all paper doesn't ship. So a different situation there. All right, so. Edward Alzale, rookie card ships. Shinsu Chu, an on-base percentage machine for Ryan. H and the Rangers. Is he, the, is he the best Korean hitter ever? I, th I, think, I think he might be, actually. That'll ship, because that's a refractor. That will not ship. Common, common, common. Rookie card. Insert. That'll ship. Uh, common, common. Common, 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 common. Common, common. Refractor. Parallel. That will ship. Will, won't ship. Won't ship. Will not ship. Will not ship. Insert. Will ship, rookie card ships, rookie card ships, etc., etc. That's an insert that'll ship, and that'll ship. Adbert Alzale blue, little color match there. Fifty-one out of one fifty, blue parallel, and autograph. That'll be for Travis and the Cubbies. So Reese Hoskins will ship. That's a silver so on and so forth. That'll ship, obviously, that's a parallel. There's Michael Baez to 150 for the Padres. That will ship, finest first, that ships, that's another insert. Box done.
All right, next box. What's I need some I need some baseball scores here. Oh my Dodgers are down to the Diamondbacks. Jeez, guess have to lose they have to lose at some point. Uh, Angels beat the Guardians in Orange County 4-1. Patrick Sandoval with the win. Tristan McKenzie took, takes the loss. Rysel Iglesias with the save. Astros beat the Rangers in Dallas 5-1. Uh, looks like Kyle Tucker homered. Odorizzi had a nice start. One hit over six innings to end a long winless drought. Um, <laughs> Mariners win again. That's all you need to know. That sound like sound like Rex and the Cubs. It's, it's you, they, you guys both make it seem like those are the only teams that exist in baseball. Mets uh, win or shut out the Cardinals three nothing. Bassett, Carl, Chris Bassett throws six shutout innings. Uh, Tigers at Twins. Twins edge out the Tigers five four. Tigers throw it away. Wild toss in ninth gives Twins a wild win. Detroit catcher Eric Haas made a throwing error and a botched rundown, capping a chaotic play. <laughs> True, Chad. Uh, Braves beat the Cubbies 3-1. Demerit freed lead Braves to a much-needed win. 3-1 over the Cubs. Royals shut out the White Sox 6-0. Daniel Lynch shines as the Royals blank the slumping White Sox. And then we'll go through some more scores after this. After the next box. Good luck. Oh, right out of the gate. We got Jake Rogers, speaking of the Tigers, 33 out of 50. Gold parallel. Nice on-card autograph. These are all on-card. Kevin Smith with the Detroit Tigers. Got Yasmani Grandal. Purple chrome to 250. That's... Uh, for the White Sox. And there's Will Smith. Nice. I think he's having a nice game today, but the Dodgers are down. Will Smith, that's for Brittany. Brittany G and my Dodgers. There you go. I think through the first, I think, three seasons of his career, Will Smith has the same home runs as Mike Piazza did through the same amount of time through the career. I think same or very similar is the uh, little trivia for, for this week. There's a Tim Anderson, 36 out of 50 gold to Royal and the White Sox. There's a Kyle Lewis, rookie refractor. Uh, what what happened, Brandon? Brewstar hung a slider. He gave up a two-run shot. That's why. All right, next box. In extras, Blue Jays edged out the Red Sox 6-5. to five. Springer hits a game-tying home run, and then Jays rally to uh, beat the Red Sox 6-5 and 10. Two-run homer. Uh, in our nation's capital, the Marlins beat the Net Nets, the Nats, 5-2. Two Nats runners thrown at the plate and a 5-2 loss to the Marlins. That's not good. Yankees. Everyone had the over in the Orioles-Yankees game, game, right? Yankees beat the O's 12-8. Anthony Rizzo. I'm surprised Rex didn't break this news. Anthony Rizzo, three home runs. And then Aaron Judge's birthday bash leads the Yankees over the O's 12-8. Looks like, looks like Anthony Rizzo settling in comfortably in New York. Phillies beat the Rockies 10-3 in Philadelphia. Pereira, Elfin lead Phillies to a 10-3 route of the Rockies. Odubel Herrera homered, doubled, and drove in three runs. Zach Eflin went six innings. And here's, uh, here's 
Chad Dawes Mariners. They beat the Rays in Tampa Bay 8-4. Gilbert Frazier leads Mariners past error-prone Rays 8-4. Logan Gilbert, 5 and 2 thirds scoreless innings. And Adam Frazier with a three-run double. Nice. Adam Frazier, good hitter, Adam Frazier. He uh, had him on my fantasy team a year or two ago with the Pirates. Kind of gives you a lot of help in that average department. All right. Next. Oh, there's, speaking of the Pirates, there's Mitch Keller, Pirates edition. And that'll go to Travis and the Buckos. And, of course, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this break. We got Zach Ranke, Astros edition to 250. There's Brandon McKay. And, ooh, that's nice. Kevin Biggio. Green Wave, 76 at a 99 for Toronto. That'll be Carl and the Bluebirds. Nice one, Carl. That's with a spot that he won. Nice Luis Robert, rookie refractor. We'll set that aside. There's Yuli Gurriel, Astros edition to 150. Ronald Acuna Jr., silver. All right, well, halfway through this 2020 case, four more boxes to go and then a 2021 case. All right, and Logan Gilbert has a .4 ERA. Padres beat the Reds 9-6. Hosmer's first home run of the season in eight-run burst. Padres beating the Reds. I, I was I was kind of big on the Reds today. If it wasn't for that eight-run inning, I think I would have won it. But that's the, that's the way it goes. Eric Hosmer has his first home run of the season. And maybe uh, Jake Cronenworth, the bases loaded hit. Uh, Brewers beat the Pirates 12-8 to in Pittsburgh. It looks like Willie Ademis, two home runs, career best, seven RBIs as Brewers beat the Pirates. Homer twice. Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers. Brewstar taking that loss. Melanson with the save. Ian Kennedy with the win. And the only other game live right now um, are the A's at Giants. Giants are up comfortably 8-2 to two in the top of the ninth. Oh, I'm sorry, one out in the top of the ninth, so... That game might be over in a couple outs. Man, I had a rough day today making some picks. Oh, yeah, I lost a lot of money today. Cleveland didn't win. Those teams, I only had one win. All right, we'll have to, we'll have to battle back tomorrow. Right. What's this basketball game doing for us here? Phoenix up 112 to 97, so that, that's a comfortable win there. Next box, good luck. Nico Horner, rookie autograph for the Cubs. Travis with the Cubbies. How is Nico doing? Good for the hobby if he, if he does well. He was pretty highly touted once when that Bowman stuff first was coming out. All right, we got Rookie Auto Jordan Yamamoto. I think originally from Hawaii, I want to say. Kevin Smith and the Marlins, last spot mojo. Yeah, Brandon saying Nico Horner pretty good, but cards maybe not following suit in terms of value. You got Albert Alzale, purple chrome to 250 for the Cubs.
Rex is saying Nico's doing really well. Give me the give me the numbers on Nico this season. What's he doing? Yeah, Brandon, that Suns Pelican series a lot closer than we thought. I mean, so imagine how much of a difference Zion could have made. I mean, plus Zion, minus Devin Booker. You know, would have definitely made Suns fans very nervous, I think. All right, next box. Let's see, what other, uh, what other ESPN news? I guess MLB details Yankees' illicit technology use in a letter. Yankees countered with saying, well, we weren't really stealing signs. We were just using the phone inappropriately. So I don't know if it was as real time as... But I don't know. I don't think it really. I don't think the news really revealed any additional information from what we've known in the past. A damaged Honus Wagner. Everyone must have seen this if you're watching my stream. Damaged Honus Wagner card sells for 1.5 million dollars. This is a story that I saw early this morning. Um, story from on ESPN by Dan Hajducky. A T206 Honus Wagner card sold for 1.1 million five hundred twenty-eight thousand. $66, Tuesday morning after a 17-day auction, Robert Edward Auctions announced. While the intriguing mythology of this card is well documented and extensive, there's a link to another story, the sale is just another recent wild addition to the Wagner legacy. This version is missing three sides, has been trimmed, and wields a massive crease across the middle. The auction tallied 75 bids, and the buyer remains prefers to remain anonymous. Hmm finish the article in a little bit. There's Jorge Soler for the Royals. That's going to go to Travis and KC. There's Justin Turner to 250. Purple Chrome for the Dodgers. And there's a nice finest first, Dylan Cease. Two out of 25 for the White Sox. Orange Wave. I think he, he may get some, some, some Cy Young consideration by, by the time it's all said and done. Roil Tolentino with that one. There you go. Nice, and the number is right over here, right on his elbow. Two out of 25. Love the orange parallels, look really sharp. Trey Turner Silver, Nationals Edition. And we've got a Charlie Blackman, 64 at 99 for the Rocks. That's for Ryan and the Diamondbacks-Rockies combo. Two more box to go and then another case. So Rex has got some Nico Horner stats for us. 52 at bats, three hitting 327 with a home run, eight RBIs, a couple stolen bases, an OPS of 802. It's pretty good. That is a good season. Back to the Honus Wagner story in February with CSP auctions. A Wagner that had been torn in half sold for $475,000. In that iteration, Wagner's jaw is missing, as is most of his torso. In May, of last year, another Wagner sold for sold with Golden for three point seven five million dollars, a then record for the for that card, and the fifth most ever paid for a sports card. Then, in August, Robert Edward Auctions brokered the all-time record for a sports card at six point six zero six million dollars. Unsurprisingly, a Honus Wagner T two hundred six. That version of the card received a three designation from a card grader, Sports Card Guarantee Corporation (SGC). According to the population reports from three grading giants, Professional Sports Authenticator, PSA, Beckett Grading Services, BGS, and SGC, only four Honus Wagners have been graded higher combined uh, in all held in private auctions. Quote, the results from this auction speak to the ever-present and growing demand for Wagner cards, which transcends the hobby in any condition, Brian Dwyer, president of Robert Edwards Auctions, said. This card was sold in 2019 for 500... Wow, really? This card was sold in... 
This card was sold in 2019 for five hundred and fifty. $540,000. The buyer purchased in 2012 for $198,000. It's exciting to see this card continue to rewrite the record books. Wow. So pretty much find yourself a, any kind of Honus Wagner and you probably get a whole... Uh, you can have a card that's been torn in half sell for almost half a million dollars. So if you find one in any... I intact... You know, probably a million dollars right there. Wild. All right. Carlos Carrasco, Cleveland edition. I think he's been he's been looking healthy. I think after that sort of scare, medical scare he had a little while ago, but I think he's back. Cleveland, this is for you. Steve Locke with the Guardians Twins combo. There's Gavin Lux, rookie silver for the Dodgers. And for the Dodgers, another Will Smith, 73 out of 99. This time a green parallel for Brittany and my Dodgers. The boys in blue. Dem bums, as they used to be called, or the or the trolley Dodgers. Dylan Cease, rookie silver. Zach Collins to 250, purple, purple chrome, 31 out of 250. All right, last box of 2020 finest coming up. Oh, sorry, it's kind of hidden here. There it is. So that's that's your that's your hobby news from from ESPN. Teams okayed to carry 14 pitchers through May 29th. Braves Eddie Rosario out eight to 12 weeks for an eye procedure. I was wondering why he was on. He's on my fantasy team. I was wondering why he was playing so terribly. I was like, that's not that's not the Eddie Rosario I know. The Atlanta Braves play slumping outfielder Eddie Rosario on the 10 day injured list with blurred vision and swelling in his right eye. And expect him to miss 8 to 12 weeks. How did this happen? He's been dealing with swelling in his right retina. Any doctors out there? How do you get swelling in your right retina? Did he get in a fight? Did he... Yeah, did he get a baseball socked into his eye or something like that? He was examined by a retinal specialist Monday and will undergo a laser procedure to correct the blurred vision. Jacob Grom showing improvement in shoulder. I guess Tanner Hawk and JP Crawford maybe some sort of Crawford, uh, Brandon Crawford on a restricted list. Tampa Bay minor league pitcher was hit in the head, returns to the mound. All right, final box of 2020. Then we'll go into 2021. And there's Robel Garcia for the Cubs. That's going to go to Travis and the Cubbies. Yeah, maybe it maybe, uh, could be a big Tatis card in here. Second year Tatis, right? Vlad Guerrero Sr. That's for Lonnie and the Nationals. Expo stuff goes to the Nationals for the moment. Nice. I love the no batting gloves. Love the no batting gloves. 
And I mean, he could hit, he was one of the best bad ball pitch, uh, bad ball hitters out there. There's his, there's his son right there. He's a good hitter in his own right. There's AJ Puck to 150. And that is that. Robel Garcia and then Vlad Guerrero Sr. were the two. Uh... All right, but wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, Chad, for the moment, until, until uh, you know, we heard the news, what, a few days ago that that I think uh, baseball wants to expand to 32 teams, right? Expos could be one of them. And once the Expos are back, then I think they would I think they would probably agree to take all the records from the Nationals, right? Even if if not, it would still go to the go to the Expos. Just like how Kevin Durant rookie cards would go to the Seattle Supersonics when and if the Supersonics uh, come back. I think basketball wants to expand to 32 as well. Chad saying the Sonics better come back before the Expos come back. Who? <laughs> All right. Uh, here's a question for everybody: Which, which uh, beloved, uh, which beloved old school team, professional sports team, comes back first? Two options: Seattle SuperSonics of the NBA or the Montreal Expos for baseball. Who comes back first? All right, here's 2021, ladies and gentlemen. So, oh, well, you know what? I did that first finest case in about a little under half an hour. So we might be a little more ahead of schedule than I thought. Which is good. That means we have more time to do a few more things. Yeah, this is, this is what a day for you, Joe Pizzle. The Diamondbacks beat my Dodgers. And the Suns beat the Pelicans without without Devin Booker. Next man up. A banner day for Phoenix. A, a, a reason to maybe celebrate in the in the streets. I think how hot is it, is it hot out there? The weather must be perfect this time of night in Phoenix. Right, so so same deal here. That's common. That's a common. That's a con that's a refractor. That'll ship. Rookie card will ship. That's a common. That's a common. That's an insert. So that'll ship, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This is Mike Trout die cut and a Pete Alonzo to one seventy five. We'll actually just set those aside there. Once again, our, just like the first case, our shipping team. We'll take care of that just in the inches of time. Just want to breeze through these here. I'll save a, that'll ship anyway, but we'll set that aside to get that top loaded. Save a couple of those. And Ryan Mountcastle, 107 out of 150. Nice player for the Orioles, Robert, with the O's. Oh, right, right, right. I remember that guy. I remember that three dots, that is. I don't think there was one, but if there are three dots in a corner, it'll actually be pretty obvious. It's not like it's not like these dots. It'll be pretty obvious when, when those dots show up, but that is a variation. 34 out of 50, that's Miguel Cabrera. What a hitter. That'll be for the Tigers. That'll go to Kevin.
Got Alex Bregman to 250. Is it one per box? So we should see it somewhere. It's not those. It's these right here. So that's a, uh, that's a variation. And we got James Karinchek for Cleveland. That'll be for Steve Locke. Cleveland, this is for you. Steve Locke's thinking that maybe A-Rod will send that Minnesota team to Seattle. And that must be the concern. There's Luis Patino to 99 for the Rays. Box one in the books. Next box. Yeah, since this is a longer break, we end up kind of filtering into some other chatter as well. I know basketball playoffs are happening. John Morant, yeah, yeah he's, he's pretty good. So let's see what happened today. So the Heat beat the Hawks. Um, the Hawks actually made a really good comeback in the fourth quarter, but just fell short. Miami moves on. They win the series 4-1. Memphis improves to 3-2 and two on the series. And then, uh, and then the Suns won tonight. They're, they're ahead 3-2 in the series. And then we, what, we got Wednesday games tomorrow as well. Milwaukee can close things out. They're up 3-1, hosting the Bulls in Milwaukee. And the Warriors are also up 3-1, uh, hosting the Nuggets. I feel like they're going to take care of business on Wednesday. All right, next box. Got a U Darvish, Speckle to 125 for the Padres. Kind of hard to see the number, but it's right up there. 118 out of 125. That'll be for the Friars, Michael L. with that one, Michael Loeb. And we got a Shirton Apostle, rookie auto for the Rangers, Ryan Harold with Texas. There's Jazz Chisholm to 150 for the Marlins. Jordan Alvarez to 250 for the Astros. Four dot variation, Alex Kirlov. That'll be for Steve Locke and the Guardians twins combo. He got his twins. And William Contreras, Wilson's brother, rookie auto for the Braves. That'll be for Kevin Smith and the Bravos. And there's your reigning MVP, NL MVP, Bryce Harper, 196 out of 300. Back when Bryce Harper signed, first signed with the Phillies, I asked the question, was it a few years ago or something like that? I, I asked the question, will, uh, will Bryce Harper win another MVP in his career? I feel like the overwhelming majority, some of you may, re may remember this conversation, the overwhelming majority said no. I'll pose the question again. Bryce Harper now has two MVPs in his career. Does he win a third MVP in his career? Three, there can't be too many players with three MVPs in their career. I feel like there's a lot of a lot of guys have one, right? 
there's got to be some a lot of a decent amount of twos out there. How many players have three, four MVPs? Does anyone know off the top of their head? At least maybe in the last 40 years or something like that. Maybe back in the day. Well, I don't know when they started doing MVP awards. Maybe mid 50s, 60s, or something like that. But. I suppose I could look it up. I know, I know, I think we can count on one hand how many people have won back to back MVPs. I don't think that happens too often. Yeah, Joe Pizzle says no. Joe says no. I think he got lucky last year, he says. All right, next box. We got Charlie Blackman to 175 for the Rockies. That'll be for um, the combo, Ryan Harold with the Diamondbacks Rockies combo. And we got Monty Harrison. Steve Locke was saying earlier the refs were some of the Grizzlies' best players tonight. Chad mentioning Ant-Man made the dumbest play on that John Morant layup. Yeah, we, we were actually watching the last moments of that game here. and Me and my colleague Chris, this goes to uh, Kevin in the Marlins' last spot mojo. But our, our hands went straight to our heads. We were like, what? There's Luis Robert to 250 for the White Sox. Anyone think uh, Bryce Harper will have a third MVP? Michael Conforto, 250. Michael Conforto getting shoulder surgery. There's Alec Baum variation, the four dots. I feel like the Dodgers would be the kind of team that would pick up Michael Conforto, like a reclamation project. There's Dylan Carlson, rookie auto for the Redbirds. That's going to go to Lonnie with a spot that he won in the filler. Got randomized the Cardinals. Gets the Dylan Carlson. There's Giancarlo Stan to 300. Wait, where, where was the case hit? Was it, is this the case hit? I don't think I did a lot of this finest, so I'm not super familiar with all the different things here. Wait, it says black gold on it, right? It's not that. Wait, is it that? Oh, it is that. No, I thought, what's the... No, I'm thinking of something else. Am I thinking of like Bowman Chrome where the card actually says black gold underneath it? What's that product? Right, so Chad saying that this, this is the one per case. Uh, Paul Goldschmidt going to Lonnie and the Cardinals. There you go, Lonnie. What's the what's the break? Uh, what what's the case with the card that actually says black gold on it? Zach saying the Kentucky Colonels will be the next protein. What if it was? What if you only had to choose between Seattle and Montreal? Series one has the black gold cards. Anyone have any thoughts on that? If there was an old pro team to be to, to come back into the fold, would it be the old Seattle Supersonics from the NBA? Or would it be the Montreal Expos for the MLB? I feel like basketball, NBA right now, I think might be more interested in, maybe more interested in uh, in expanding sooner than baseball. 
And I feel like baseball is only just kind of scratching the surface about it. Whereas, I think NBA has been thinking about it for a minute or two. And there's some there's some natural division realignment that can happen as well because Memphis is still in the uh, Memphis is still in the West. All right, next box. We got Andres Jimenez. Speckle to 125, 119 to 125. And there's Finest Moments, Daryl Strawberry. For the Metropolitan, that's going to go to Carl with a spot that he won in the filler. There's Wilson Contreras. There's Freddie Freeman to 250. Braves edition 207 out of 250. There's the four dots on the 6 0 Sanchez. And Andy Young is your autograph for the Diamondback. Diamondback's Rockies combo, Ryan Harold. And there's Key Brian Hayes to 300. All right, halfway through this two-case break. Got about another 15, 20 minutes to go here, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me. We're actually going to be a little bit ahead of schedule, I want to say. So we've got we've got some time to do some more breaks, if you'd like. No, maybe I'll be on schedule. When did I say I'm going to finish this break? Yeah, I think we might be 15, 20 minutes ahead of schedule, which gives us some more time to do some more breaks. Good luck. Yeah, Brandon can't wait until Freeman uh, cards in his Dodger uniform come out. That, that, that would be pretty cool. Hey, there must have been some Topps Now cards that, that Topps has done with Freddie Freeman, right? But yeah, but in a, in a, in a regular hobby set, I don't wonder what the first one's going to be. We were trying to predict this. I don't think we're. I don't think we're gonna see that in June, or I, I'm. I'm sorry. I don't think we're gonna see that in May. Ah, they did a road to opening day card with him. But I think in terms of regular hobby release, I don't think we're gonna see any anything in May. But maybe in maybe in June, July. We'll start to see a lot of different players too. I think. All right, next box. We've got a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Shimmer to 175. That's 166 out of 175. That'll be for the Blue Jays. That's going to go to Carl. And a Tyler Stevenson. 51 out of 99. 57 out of 99. With the red legs. That's going to be for Nick L. and Cincinnati. On the board, Nick. Got a 39 out of 50. Jose Ramirez and Jim Tomei. Legacies card. Xander Bogarts to 250 for Boston. There's the four dots on the Joey Bart. 
A little variation. And a Joey Bart. Travis. With what Giants fans hope is going to be future Buster Posey. So that's for my rivals once again. Travis with that one. Luis Patino. Speckle. 14 out of 1. 25. And down to three boxes to go. find out where, where where's all the uh, is there somewhere on the on the website on MLB.com with all the all the weekly award winners Do they, where can I find that Yeah. Well, according to that must be a different week. Oh, I don't think Baseball Reference has updated this yet. But uh, first week, Nolan Arenado won NL Player of the Week. Alex Bregman won AL Player of the Week. Second week of the season, I think Seiya Suzuki won NL Player of the Week, and Jose Ramirez won AL Player of the Week. And then this week. Or this past week, I think. Bellinger, yes. Bellinger won NL Player of the Week. I don't know who won AL Player of the Week. I feel like this information should be more public. Where is, where is this information? Oh, I got it. Baseball Almanac hot has it. Um, I guess he gave Miguel Cabrera and Ty France of the Mariners AL Player of the Week. And then the Dodgers... Uh, Cody Bellinger, sole, sole winner of the NL Player of the Week. So not, not too bad. Got Cody Bellinger on my fantasy team. Happy to see him hit the ball a little bit better. We'll see if any of those guys end up being Player of the Month. We got Marcus Stroman for the Mets. Might be a variation. It was flipped around. And we got a Ryan Jeffers, 29 out of 50. Rookie auto for the Twins. Steve Locke with that Guardians Twins combo. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense why they, they're sharing it with Ty of France. So there's Alex Kirilov, 170 out of 199 for Steve and the Twins. Um, Ty France has 21 RBIs already? Jeez. It's Christian Pache, 54 out of 250, Braves edition. There's the Ryan Mountcastle four dot variation. And we got Devin Williams, Brew Crew. Carl with the Brewers. William Contreras to 75. Two boxes to go.
Yeah, in 17 games, Ty France, 25 home runs, 21 RBIs, a few doubles. Jose Ramirez has 20. Those are the only two guys, Ty France and Jose Ramirez. 21 RBIs on the season already. I don't know if that counts tonight's stats, but I'm just looking on MLB. Now, maybe it does count tonight's stats because it has Anthony Rizzo leading the majors. In homers with eight. Albies, Buxton, Crone, Jock Peterson have six. That Jock Peterson has six, and he, I think I think he's still in a platoon as well. Um, Arenado, Ty France, Vlad Guerrero, Sal Perez, Mike Trout all have five. And a bunch of people have four. Let's see. Who's uh, who's stealing bases? Jorge Mateo, seven stolen bases on the season. Julio Rodriguez, flashing the speed, six stolen bases on the season. A couple guys with five, handful of guys with four, some guys with three, so on and so forth. Let's see, who's, uh, who's swinging the lumber pretty well? Eric Hosmer, almost 59 at bats, hitting 390. Wow. 23 hits, six doubles. Andrew Benintendi hitting 389 on the season. 21 hits, no doubles. Ty France hitting 368. 25 hits, a few doubles, five home runs. All right, second to last box. Good luck, everybody. It's Jose Abreu to 250 for the White Sox. There's the four dot variation for Christian Pache. And Dane Dunning. Dun, 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 dun. Royal with the uh, Chicago White Sox. Who's the stolen base king? Come on, Rex. You better, you retract that statement right now. You're going to feel silly when everyone tells you the answer. 49 out of 125, Spencer Howard. Dane Dunning goes to Royal once again. Ken Lofton. Come on, Rex. Unless he's trolling us. There's Jose Altuve to 175 for the uh, Astros. Right, duh. Come on, Rex. Shannon. The shirt and apostle. <laughs> yeah, he's like a thousand more saves than Kenny. Like he's, he's, Kenny Lofton is not even is not even in the top ten. I want to say seven out of twenty five shirt and apostle. Maybe top ten among his peers when he played, but come on, Rex. There's Ryan Harold with the Rangers. Nice uh, orange wave shirt and apostle. Springer to 199. Yeah, <laughs> Rex drinking too many hot, spicy Mountain Dew beverages. Come on, Rex. Jason Jaspi would know that. Everyone knows that. I mean, there are just basic things that are ingrained into a baseball player's head, right? Consecutive game streak, Cal Ripken Jr., hits, Pete Rose, home runs, Barry Bonds, stolen bases, Ricky Henderson. I actually don't know who has the most RBIs. Who's the RBI leader?
And every time I pull a Ricky Henderson card, I do the I do the whole I I I am the greatest 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 of all time time. Come on, Rex. I thought you were a baseball guy. All right, last box. Good luck. Uh, I don't remember, Bobby, but I'm going to do a recap in just a second. So you're just in time after I finish this box. And got some upside-down cards here. Mike Trout die cut. You Darvish to 99 for the Friars. I know there was at least a... Mount Castle Parallel, I want to say. Was it an auto? Oh, it was an auto. Chad, see, Chad's brain is better than mine. That's why he's a CPA. Tyler Stevenson. Another, uh, I think I've, I do remember pulling one of these. Nick L. with the uh, red legs. I think it was in this case. Davey Garcia to 150 for the Yankees. William Contreras for the Braves to 250. Mark Khanna for the Oakland A's. That's going to go to Kevin Smith and the Athletics. Nick Madrigal to 300. And an Evan White and Michael Conforto. I don't think I... Did I see a four-dot card in this? So we're going to do the Wax Party Randomizer. And then we'll do the... Uh, we'll, then we'll do a recap. Maybe I already pulled it. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I don't see it, but we'll pull it. We'll find it. All right, so before I do the recap, this is a wax party break if I'm not mistaken. It is. One wax party spot being given away. Um, let's grab everybody's names from Ryan, down to Lonnie, and everybody in between. New dice, new list, just one winner. So fingers crossed, lucky rabbit's foot, all that stuff. Six and a six, 12 times. Top name after 12, one. Two, three, four, five, six. I, I realize with the combo teams, there's some better, slightly better odds. And another six times, name on top. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time for 12. All right, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Big thanks, everybody. Now from two on down, that's sad times. But I appreciate everybody giving this a shot. Um, thank you. Uh, there are not too many wax party opportunities left. I think Nick's planning on a big finish or something like that. So, um, so just uh, keep an eye on the website every day, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Name on top, wax party for Lonnie with the spot that he won in the filler. Congrats to you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting in. Let's get you into the wax party before I forget. Boop. A lot of uh, wax party people here. And that is for the 2020 plus 2021 finest MLB doubleheader. The Let's Play 2. Ernie Banks break. So there you go. You're officially in. Not too many left. I think the, I think the big football mixer has locked away a couple spots. And then it's not maybe 10, 11 spots left by the time... Uh, all is said and done in the next week or two. All right. Congrats, Lonnie. Thank you very much. Here is a recap. R -r 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 recap for everybody. A lot of nice autos. A lot of nice color. Joey Bart. The straw man. The case hit. Dylan Carlson. There's the Ryan Mountcastle, Bobby. 107 out of 1. I think this was the only Orioles hit, but that's a good one. Vlad Guerrero Sr. Will Smith. I think there was a couple... Fresh Princes of Bel Air. We saw that Dylan Cease, Kevin Vigio, Mitch Keller. There's the other one. Some gold, some silver, and some Seth Brown at the beginning. Plus, 
uh, a ton of parallels that will uh, sleeve and top load as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.